from high flying aircraft at this weekend's Smoky Mountain Air Show to low flying chickens. That's right. Anderson County Schools, it's using those birds to create a passion for science in its students. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot here to explain for us. Tell us about these chickens, Vinay. Robin, don't you wish you had a class like this in high school? Clinton High School, it's one of 88 schools with the STEM designation in Tennessee, and it's one of the largest to get that because of classes like this. It's a classroom where they are hands on engaged in learning. Unlike most others, you don't have to sit in a classroom for an hour and a half doing a sheet of paper. Chicken farming at Clinton High School. Instead of being cooped up in class, these students are learning hands on about biology, the reproductive system, and more importantly, troubleshooting. The first round of eggs didn't totally work. So they took another crack at it. How can we build the theory of those classes into applications that students can do with hands-on projects? Clinton High School STEM coordinator Amy Haney hopes classes like this hatch a passion for science within her students. Her hands-on courses, like chicken farming, robotics, and computer science, led Clinton High School to earn the STEM designation. Our students have a little bit of an upper hand on, on other students. The state of Tennessee gives that to schools which can be used to model STEM education for other schools. And more importantly, students see the reasons behind what they're learning in class. And ultimately, students are seeing a relevance back in their high school education that they weren't seeing before. As for the age-old question of what came first, <laughs> at Clinton High School, they know the answer. We raised these chickens from an egg using an incubator, um, and now they're old enough to start uh, laying eggs. Yes, yeah, so at Clinton High School, it started with the egg. Now that first <laughs> batch of chickens is old enough to start laying its own eggs, so we could see some grand chicks in Anderson County, <laughs> Robin, some proud grandparents. Thank you so much for finally answering that question for us, <laughs> or those students answering the question. Danae, thank you.